Welcome and thanks for watching. I'm Ben Greenbaum with Cisco's Advanced Threat Solutions team and in these videos we're going to show how to perform standard security operations functions using Cisco's Advanced Threat Solutions products. For the next few episodes we're going to focus on threat hunting. But what is threat hunting? Aside from an industry buzzword, it is simply the act of proactively searching system and network logs using internal and external threat intelligence for evidence of threats that may have bypassed or gone undetected by existing security solutions. It is not reactive, it's not passive monitoring of alert channels or logs, and it can take many forms, some of which your teams are probably already doing. For example, our first episode is going to be a very simple scenario. The boss walks in, looking at their phone, and says they just read a Cisco Talos blog article and found out about a piece of malware, and asks us if we are affected by it. In this video, we're going to use AMP for Endpoints and Cisco Threat Response, formerly known as Cisco Visibility, to find out if we were hit by Olympic Destroyer. AMP for Endpoints is Cisco's endpoint protection, detection, and response tool. It provides many complementary engines and protective technologies. It consists of an endpoint agent and the cloud-based management console and threat intelligence repository, as well as a robust file analysis and malware threat intelligence backend known as ThreatGrid. One of the features AMP for Endpoints provides is called Device Trajectory, and it is a timeline of events on the endpoints, including all file and network events. Cisco Threat Response is a relatively new offering from Cisco that is, at its core, an aggregation and integration platform for multiple Cisco security products. Cisco Threat Response allows you to query multiple local monitoring systems and external threat intelligence repositories simultaneously. If this sounds to you like a powerful threat hunting tool, well, you're not wrong. Let's get started. To recap, we've been asked on the spot if we were affected by Olympic Destroyer. So let's search our network to see if we've seen any of the known file hashes associated with this threat. The first thing we're going to do is read the blog our boss referenced. We're going to see all the details of this campaign, and we're going to find an IOC section at the bottom, which lists off relevant file hashes. We're simply going to copy all of those hashes, and without worrying about reformatting them or anything else, we're going to paste that blob of text into Cisco Threat Response and hit Investigate. We can see Cisco Threat Response doing the lookups on all these file hashes. We can see them being assigned dispositions based on all the intelligence and data Threat Response puts at our disposal. We can see that one is coming back as known clean and that the rest are coming back as malicious. Interestingly, we can also see this purple target icon, which means that one of our machines has seen one of these known malicious file hashes. We should probably look into that further. We can see that this file was dropped by a second clean file, explorer.exe. We can see its name and file path and know that it was found on the desktop and named old.exe. We can see the judgments, verdicts, sightings, and indicators for these files on the right, including this one. We can see the citing history and see that this file was seen once in our environment in early August. Looking down at the judgments, we can see that AMP is aware of this file and judged it to be malicious, that many of VirusTotal's AV engines have triggered on it as well, and that AMP's Global Intelligence Repository has a malicious judgment on it also. Under verdicts, we can see that the three systems reporting back on this file have all declared it to be malicious, giving us a high confidence that it is in fact malicious. Over on the Sightings tab, we can see that it's been seen three times in total, twice in our environment by AMP for Endpoints, once when initially detected and once when successfully quarantined on the same machine, and we can see that of course ThreatGrid saw it when it was submitted for file analysis. Let's click on the AMP event for our local sighting, and that will take us directly to the AMP console to the device trajectory for our affected endpoint. Here we can see the event where old.exe was created by explorer.exe and successfully quarantined. We can tell our boss after about two minutes that yes, we have seen the threat, but our existing solutions protected our network. And that's it. Like I said, this first example is a very short and simple scenario to get us started and introduce the concepts and a few of the tools. This is probably a scenario that has already happened to you on many occasions, and this is one way that Cisco can help. If you're interested in learning more about threat hunting using Cisco solutions, check out our threat hunting workshops by asking your Cisco account representative, and also follow this playlist for more examples and episodes of threat hunting with Cisco Advanced Threat Solutions. Thank you. Thank you.